Happy Tuesday, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed yesterday's workout. Uh, today's workout is gonna be a little bit of a longer workout uh, compared to yesterday. 20 minute time cap on this one. Um, I forgot to write, should be three rounds of this. So three rounds of 50 uh, slash 40 cal row. Um, and then 15 cleaning jerks at 135.95. So three total rounds of that, um, and you have 20 minutes to finish this one. So with this one, guys, uh, the one, number one thing that sticks out to the uh, out of this workout is your breathing. So think about your breathing and how you're managing that throughout each of the movements. So with the cow row, uh, with the cleaning jerks, uh, maybe. Um, Trying to focus on it on both movements might be a little too hard. Maybe focus on that cow row. So that is a very kind of repetitive movement. Think about that deep breath in as you go in and then exhaling on the pole every single time. Try to see if you can keep that rhythm as you're doing your uh, rowing today. By focusing on your breathing, guys, that's when you're going to make those aerobic adaptations to this workout. So um, thinking about controlling that breath. Another thing to think about is Think about trying to exhale longer than you inhale. That will help you guys keep your heart rate a little bit lower uh, and keep you more at a sustainable pace rather than a really fast pace. So we're trying to avoid the pace that we went at yesterday and we're trying to go at a little bit more down-regulated pace so we can keep moving throughout this full 20 minutes. So with that, guys, focusing on that breathing, we're really making those good aerobic adaptations. And from there, we're maximizing our work and we're also being able to uh, build some motor skill as we're um, at that state. So when we're at more of a relaxed kind of aerobic state, it's easier to kind of get into a flow of movements and uh, work on that movement. So with the cow row or even with the cleaning jerks, once you find that rhythm and try to stick to uh, a movement pattern that's consistent every single time. That way you're being efficient and you're continuously making those aerobic gains uh, throughout this workout. With that said, guys, uh, it should feel, again, that you're going at a kind of 70 to 80% effort in this workout. It shouldn't feel like yesterday's workout where you were going all out 90 to 100%. Today is more of that 70 to 80% trying to sustain it throughout the whole workout. With this one, uh, by sustaining it, guys, we're thinking about breaking up each movement in about three minute sections. So I would say three minutes for the rowing, three minutes for the clean and jerks. That's kind of um, a safe bet, I would say, especially for the clean and jerks. If you're doing five minutes, you should be finishing in three minutes, but realistically, you're probably gonna be doing more during that minute and um, focus on keeping those time restraints on you. So to do that, then that will cause you to finish this workout within the 20 minute time cap and not worrying about trying to sneak in that last round when you have only two minutes left. So with that said, um, your progressions will also matter as well. So 135.95 should be a weight where you can continuously go. Um, I would say it should be around maybe 30 or 40% of your one max. It should be really low um, and something that you can just continuously rep out. And then calorie row guys, um, if you find you're going beyond the three minutes, I would say then reduce the number of reps. So it's okay if you go instead 40 slash 30 cal row um, and that allows you to finish within the three minutes, then that's a better kind of um, volume progression for you um, to get the best adaptations out of this workout. I want you guys all going through this three times and not just once or twice throughout this 20 minutes. So think about that guys, volume progression, and also thinking about your weights, your intensity for this workout. Once you finish this one, we're gonna cool down, down regulate with that glute stretch. Um, there's a lot of hip hinging um, in this workout and you're really utilizing those hips and glutes. So let's go after that glute stretch, get you guys kind of uh, nice and nimble so you guys are ready for tomorrow's workout. Um, don't go into it nice and tight. So. Let's focus on kind of stretching the muscles out, getting those joints nice and relaxed before we hit tomorrow's workout. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed today's workout and uh, the cool down. We'll see you guys today.